And some time ago, when we were teaching Galatians, where I made the statement again and again, faith plus nothing equals salvation, that you're absolutely, utterly cast upon Jesus Christ. He's your Savior. He's your Lord. He's your Master. And a great many people, oh, did they write in? And did they say some very ugly things? And among the things they said, you said that the law is something that we should get rid of. I didn't say anything of the kind. What I said is, the law can't save you. The law was never given to save you. And the law is good, but there's something wrong with us. And only Christ can save us. And when we turn from our own efforts, from our own works, from those things that we do today and turn to him, we can be saved. Then there are many wrote, says, you were wrong. You should have told them that they had to be baptized a certain way. You should have told people that they should have joined a certain group, a certain cult, by the way. And one man said, and you should be sure and tell them that they are to keep the law. Even if they just trust Christ, they're to keep the law. My friend, we're joined to Christ. And he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. We love one another. We're to be filled with the Spirit. We're to witness to the world. Those are his commandments today. And we're joined now to the living Christ. We're to live on a much higher plane. And the fruits of the Spirit should be in our hearts and our lives. Oh, today, and may I say this carefully, oh, today, that flattering ism and cult made up like a woman of the street. And she is flattering and calling to men and women. Oh, they <laughs> they knock on your door. They hand out tracts. They meet you everywhere. This old gal, she is busy today. I tell you, she's a prostitute. She wants to take you away from Christ, by the way. She wants to have you join something. She wants to bring you into some kind of a system. Oh, my friend... <laughs> There's that spiritual prostitute that's out on the street today, and I'm sorry to say on radio and through other means, out trying to lure. And we're told here that it's just like an ox going to the slaughter when you go in. It's just like a fool that needs correction when you go into that sort of thing. In other words, God says you're not being smart when you do that type of thing. Oh, to come to him and to settle for nothing less than the person of Christ. What a picture that you have here. And this is a picture today, friends, that I'm sure are going to hurt a great many folk. And you want to know something? I'm going to get some more letters, by the way, to straighten me out. And maybe I need straightening out. But my judgment here is that this is the finest picture of cults and isms that you have. A prostitute made up, attractive and offering something to man that will actually destroy him and send him down to hell and take him away from Jesus Christ, the lover of our soul. What a picture.